seriously called that manners. It's a terrible problem. So imagine, you know, imagine you, okay, so the rule is you can't offend anyone. All right. Let's say you're speaking to one person. I can't offend you. All right, fair enough. What if I'm speaking to 10 people? Do I get to offend one in 10? How about one in 100? How about one in 1,000? You're going to come out on stage and you're going to say something important about something vital and you're not mm. going to offend one person in a thousand? Well, you can't say anything about anything important ever without offending probably the person you're talking to. <laughs> important mm. speech about important issues, especially contentious issues, is instantly offensive. But there are ways... I'm going to stop it right here. Uh... That's exactly what I say. In my situation, it's such a vicious loop because there are so many people with status that are offended just by me asking for help or trying to protect myself. And the more I speak on it, the more they formulate stupid reasons within themselves privately, secretly, like secret KGB attacks. And also, legally, they just say, oh, the, the person, and they just come up with, that's this, that could be taken as one day possibly a danger. The monstrosity that is going on, and look what he's going to say now. It sounds exactly like me. It takes two to be good to try to reach a conclusion. Just like when I say in Russia and Ukraine and in Gaza and Israel, it's not fair because everybody is so polarized. Everybody is so, just like after she's going to talk about the gender thing. Me, I don't, and, and I see it. That not, some people are willing, no matter what they're living, no matter what, if they're the people that say, or the, the, the nationalities and all that, and the people with gender, like me, I was feeling like, mad. I can't be straight. So if a person of gender can't be, uh, that they're making so much stink about that, that they have to be, and I totally am for that, just like with different nationalities that have been abused so badly within the times, even here in Canada, with Native Americans, that's the whole point. But are you going to pick on another one just to put the government is fishing us into fighting with each other? There's other little shorts I'm going to put. Anyways, just listen to this part. He's going to say exactly what I'm saying or not exactly because I don't agree with everything he says, but he has a very reasonable character. If I talk with Jordan, I wouldn't get in a disagreement. But when you're spiritual, like I'm going to put another one, if you're seeing this and you didn't see one that says, we are nothing of what we're living. Just like Shakespeare understood, we're all just a temporary game. Why fight? Why hurt each other? That's the big question. You are just triggered. If you notice any action you do, even one that seems justified, like I said, putting someone in prison for cutting up and eating people. I'm, I, and I hope people don't take this to mean that I think about things like that. I, I do just to show extremes that we should forgive and understand even those people. But we can't let them get away with continuing that process. Just like I said, wow. Offending the police. People say, you can't do that. Well, but what gives them the permission to do the crime? Just people. Have you noticed uh, things in society? Cameras. When you see a TV show with private investigators, they have to have friends in the police. It's always about one state. And not even the government controls the police. So who controls the police? How oh, this thing when invest... No, there has to be committees that control the government, that control the elites, funding the government, the uh, lobbying... Things like that, like happened with Trudeau, that Schwab actually says it. I put him in the government and then I control the Canadian government. So he actually said it and people don't pay attention to that phrase. I never heard that phrase on TV in a political debate on the Sundays, uh, tomorrow, the, today's Saturday, the 31st or whatever is it, the first. Or, there's never talk of reality. These people in the shadows controlling everything that have money and perversion. This is it. I said the story of Carla Moran. I had forgotten that totally when I was saying if I die, it's not that I want revenge or that I want hate and I want to hurt the people that are hurting me, but it's just a natural egoic self-preservation instinct while I'm alive to want to protect my life, especially, you know what makes it so thin? It's the gaslighting, it's the fact that they come close to me with some kind of product either from the government or from them, some kind of vapor pesticide because... Yesterday, that person smiled, but she was so good, but at being criminal, and I know the person's name, can I make a charge against that person when the police themselves? It's just like when that person that did a P38, he was so scared of me, and the police agrees, that he, he was allowed saying that I was whatever they wrote, stupidities, irrational, but he could be anonymous. 
But yet he takes his vehicle and tries to run me over. Even if I film him, the police won't do nothing. In fact, the message they sent me with the ambulances is that they're going to either hit me or threaten or bother me with their vehicles. Wholesale. Because I don't know if they're actually going to go far to put a product that instead of hurting my body and causing my own fragility, because I, I, I do say that it's 50-50 whether they put something intentionally to hurt me a lot or not. I know very well there's products. See, I am logical. I am not losing uh, like the logic and the reasoning and the calmness. Something I see these officers are triggered. Just they keep on wanting to grab me. I mean, let's just say you would have seen it. You've seen the vehicle uh, in front of my bus. But if you would have seen the STM coming close to me, just like those videos, I say, what are you doing? They're, oh, yeah, but I'm just walking. I, I could go anywhere I want. Well, that's what they did with the paper with the Bill C-63. They just make up stuff. Now, even if it's not going to be uh, another trumped up fake uh, accusation or warrant for having me evaluated again or some other kind of fear on the 17th of September with Applepix. I am scared. Now, what do I do, Applepix, when I see you? Do I have to wear a gas mask? Do I have to wear a hazmat suit? And do I have to say, stay away from me? Because I don't care if the police calls that crazy. You are monstrous beings <laughs> because it doesn't matter if it's a temporary. I do, I do think you're beautiful souls inside. But you have chosen... Just like Mr. Peter, you have chosen to be so malicious and corrupt and very well. Why don't we hook up? I dare the police. We all hook up the uh, person in charge of Station 26, uh, anybody into a, uh, how do you say that? Uh, uh, what's that thing? Uh, light detector machine, whatever. Uh, polygraph. I would pass with fine colors. And you could say, yeah, he does meditation so he could control them. You could keep on lying. The idea that I want to show my fans, my 58 million fans, because I hope they become that, but they won't let. I showed you the video with the technology. If right now it's it's a few minutes and I don't know if it's going to upload, if my phone sometimes goes off the reception or my line gets cut, my email, I can't receive emails. How could people think? They used even that as an excuse. Yesterday, I, I had almost finished paying my rent and almost left. And even the receptionist participated in that. Yeah, yeah, you got to wait for her. She's going to get you the paper. I already knew the date. Why did she have to get me? I waited almost like I thought, but I didn't have that much of a gas. But I thought it was something like, I said, I have gloves. I have No, it was something gaseous that got me. And I think it could have been because they have access to all kinds of pesticides. Even if to them it doesn't hurt them, to me, I don't know what it was. Or it was something genetically engineered by the police. I know you might say, all oh, these things are the imaginations of a schizophrenic person. Just like right now, if I imagine police following me everywhere, I would be delusional, right? But what if I showed you on camera? Is there wires? Does it exist a technology that you create society like filming with a camera, right? So this is what I'm saying. Whatever they accuse me of, they're just proving they're criminals. And like I said... Find me a better word, police. Like Jordan Peterson says, this is, I'm proving to you that there was no way I could tell you what I have to tell you without offending you. Because if you get offended, that means you're fragile. I don't get offended by you. Just that's why you stepped up the crime. I say, if you hurt me physically, but if you offend me and I get offended, that means either you're right or I'm a big baby, right? So I dare anybody. Like those two officers yesterday, STMA, huh? you tried. Hey, even though you were, even if you would have been a hundred giggling at me, I still would have laughed back and says, you're the ones that need the luck. Because right now, I guarantee you, just like with the power outages, even though I'm not the only one in the building that's, that's good, I mean, I'm, I'm one of the few that's good. Good and bad are relative, but I mean, that functions on a resonance of justice, love, harmony. When you, when I see these words, you know I'm not pretending. And, I wish I could find a way. Like, look at this. This is the, this is what he's gonna say now is exactly, my dear uh, Hapobex, my dear Montreal Police, my dear Peter Lee. What I would say: it takes two to tango. It takes two to party. It takes two to fight. But no, to fight it takes one. Because if the person doesn't fight back, he's just effed <laughs> on the physical. But spiritually, you could. Call me all you want. You could like my, my P38 neighbor. He, will, he wanted to make me admit I had mental disease when I said, it's not that I'm scared to admit I have uh, mental disease. It's because I don't have it. So it would be adding insult to injury that they're already poisoning me before it was the pesticide. Now it's with other products or even the pesticide still in different times on different uh, papers. So what can I do? Even if sometimes 
they, they didn't continue with the hot water uh, uh, threats because a lot of people were telling me, I have hot water. How is that possible? They had hot water. I didn't. And I heard like all knockings and smacking. Maybe now my hot water works. Maybe right now they're going to block it again. That's what I'm saying. They do what they want. Twice I got put into psychiatry. Okay, maybe the first time it was an intern, that, but it was already in the program that they were waiting for an excuse. This doctor 10 years ago about told me, we're just waiting. We're, we're, we're thinking about putting you. We know you have a physical health problem, but we don't want to be bothered by you. We don't want to hear you. We don't want to help you because you don't make us money. You don't take a lot of pills. and you're. I should have recorded him then, right? But I can tell you. Dr. Blah, 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 Dr. C. See, I'll just say his first letter. But he was a great doctor because he was honest enough to tell me, just like Trump, he might be worse than Biden. But he is showing, at least, that he's coming clean with the present state of affairs. What did Trump say? The system is corrupt. How do I? How do you know I'm telling you the truth? Because I use it myself. If I would tell you right now, please, I'm honest, this, that. Oh, I never had a thought of vengeance or hatred or getting avenged or doing a curse. No, in some moments I do send a vengeful pulse, but then I grip back, but I say, what am I doing? It's almost like my own body when it's not working. They are not working because they don't know what they do. One thing I agree with Jesus, and I never knew I would say it in a similar situation, is that Forgive them not, for they know not what they're doing. No, they know what they're doing in my case, physically. Just like on the planet, every single thing that's happening. Uh, there's a thing with Texas, but the thing that I, then again, I don't know if I could show it because I don't know about my channel. But let's go on to Jordan Peterson and what he's saying. This is really, it, it's just like, it's like I'm trying to get a grip on what is stable anymore and what we could depend on that's in organized government and policing. There is nothing left. I don't see anything working. Ways that you can share, I guess, um, provocative views where you attempt to still do that in a, with an air of, say, respectfulness yeah. and you're trying yeah. to mitigate against the offensiveness. This is true. Yeah, you can actually try listening when, yeah. you, when you're having a conversation, right? Assuming that both people <laughs> who are having the conversation are of goodwill mm. and they're not trying to play tricks and they're struggling tricks towards is the, the truth, word. which neither of them hold completely and both understand that. Yeah, you can reach across fairly large gaps and negotiate peace. Thank God for that. Or we be at each other's throats all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say the example of there are some transgender people. Who oh, it's, I don't want to get into that topic because that's the whole point. People that are trans, for me, they're a billion percent valid. But I doubt the government and laws changing to adapt to them if it's honest. Just <laughs> so, that's, so this is me taping from the other thing, the old school uh, recording. I, uh, this was longer, so I'm going to stop it at uh, less than 15 minutes. Um, I, uh, I wish I didn't have to, like yesterday, I was a little triggered and I was very intense. Like I said, it's valid because that's what they did. Those products, especially what I saw Apopex did yesterday, I saw they were just waiting for the right time because they know I filmed near the door. Maybe that's why they don't pl plant them on my door again. <laughs> There's... Because that's all about punishment. Nobody respects love, harmony, and good intentions. Everybody just respects weaponized systems, intimidation and pain, and organized crime. That's all that I see. At some point, I said it in this video or another video, I said, you know, there is such a thing as uh, there is such a thing as uh, oh, I lost my train of thought. Something of too much. It's it's like too much. It's conflict. It's always too much conflict. It's like all that they're able to do is create scenarios for more punishment and conflict. That's all there's too much of on the planet now. And, uh, and the thing about Texas, that was re really scary. This guy that lost his son and he was on, uh, believe it or not, uh, Dr. Phil is, is, he's like still like a bit like, but he's showing a different, like he's trying to be neutral because as much as he was a bit extreme and <laughs> bossy and police like talking he likes listening to people he he really is a good 
I think he has some parts of him that even though he's in the mainstream and it's like when I see these talk shows on TV, I'm not trying to judge or this, that. I mean, it's all about nowadays people could be canceled. And even if you're not canceled totally or there's no reason for you to cancel, like me, my channel is not big enough to lower it. Lower than 50-something uh, subscribers, you can't get much lower than that. But it's the idea that I've seen already and I've come to the conclusion that no one will help me because no one will see facing the police and, and trying to investigate the police as something... It's not that it's not possible. It's not possible if you don't have a lot of money and a lot of investigative type of detective or agencies with CSIS or something like that. Or the, the it's like I would have to have people that are already lawyers and important and willing to risk quite a bit just for me to have because I just figured out making a complaint is just gonna, it's almost like saying uh, uh, shooting a rhino with a BB gun. You're not even going to tickle it with, with its casing. Even an elephant gun might not kill it. So this is what I'm trying to say. There is not much I can do to the policing system. And like I said, it, it, it's not only out of protective uh, instinct that I say, please stop attacking me because there are karmic laws. But it's, I really, and I, and I hope you hear the the resonance that I'm saying it, I really feel that there's going to be something bad happening to the policing. Not one person, not one individual, because the person did this to me, or even that person from Apopex, because they're the one per I have no hate for the people that did what they did. They are obviously paid to do that, whether it's extra or whether it's by threats or whether it's... Because it's not that I'm sure. It's not that I'm sure. It's that there's no other way that someone gives me a sheet and I'm sick and I see the eyes... I saw the eyes of the receptionist, which is harder for her to be. It's like she gave herself away because she was running away. Maybe she didn't want to be exposed to that, uh, whatever she put on that sheet. But she didn't mind. I mean, she was like a super girl. And people think it's actually pleasurable to do crime. I mean, you see some people, it's like the guy said, the guy was high, he just took his gun and he shot his son like that. There was no reason. And, and and it's like me, I'm trying to think of a reason why the police keeps on picking on me when they could, because I did trigger them and I did offend them, but maybe not intentionally. But so why am I surprised? I shouldn't be. If I compare to the police, like that guy high and stoned and shooting a guy just out of the blue, because... Police, you have to be similar to that guy to pick on someone that is sick, old, and poor and structure even fake warrants against them and then be smiling and be six officers slapping me to the floor. How weak do you have to be in consciousness and self-love? Not weak in muscles or guns or, or, or corrupting judges or printing out all bullshit. That you're good at. I am saying, but it's still breaking the laws of basic humanity. And you know I can speak like this in front of 100,000 people. Maybe not if you gas me or torture me or inject me with something, but that's why I was always afraid of being touched or this, because I don't trust you anymore. Not after all these things on my body, police. Apopex, no more trust. Everybody stay the hell away from me on the 17th. <laughs> if you come close to me, obviously I'll be filming that day if I won't even have a witness and if I'm not even like going to formulate a complaint for what already has happened. That is like almost impossible, the last part. But the ones before, uh, they are possible. You have no right to judge or formulate decisions or ideas about my mental state or about my intent, especially when I'm telling you on this video that you are a monstrous criminal and I have video proof and I have symptomatic proof. Symptomatic proof is just like saying, I have a cold right now. Why does a doctor or an ambulance come because usually people say the truth i have no reason to accuse you of things that affect my health apoplex you on the other hand have plenty of reasons because i took you to court twice for you you're giving yourself permission from that to do anything you want to my body i didn't take you to court to hurt you or to even well a little bit of money i take the first time but it was just to say stop making me ill is that the crime you're punishing me apoplex and police that's what I'll leave you on. Think about what you're doing and think about a whole universe, planets spinning at certain speeds, galaxies eating other ones, everything in perfect harmony, and there is no laws. Just like now here, Trudeau could create his own laws to suit him. 
and you think Trudeau is as big as the planets and the sun and the galaxies, yeah, he could be special. He could have done a lot of harm to Canada, but I don't think he's that powerful. So imagine the laws of the universe and what the Bible or other books that scriptures that were before the Bible, more honest and more direct that to our connection to God, we don't have to look up to God or pray that he remembers us if we do good. No, that's a government rule. <laughs> that's a government religion in the religion itself. The only thing is do no harm. And that law has been broken with me. Yeah, yeah, your baby side, your childish, uh, immature, offended side, like Jordan says, you have to offend people if you want to put up an important message. That's the, it's just the reason to show I'm not the only one thinking is how am I going to communicate that you're hurting me and you know you are. And if there's some officers that are not aware, well, please listen to this video and please see that I have no reason to lie about being physically hurt. And if you think this is the way the Canada you want, don't be surprised when karma hits you. Don't be surprised when your kids might go through something like me, even if you are the police itself. Is that what you want? And I said it in other videos. Apopex, you want... I don't know if you got any flooding. I don't know if people see... Like, everybody is not... Everybody is in harmony. What we do to others, especially with intent, is going to come back to us at some point. There is no way how we treat others, no matter how we... We do it like to survive or to feel powerful. We shouldn't hurt people. I could give myself so many reasons now to hurt so many people legally and illegally. Oh my God, j'ai carte blanche. 700 attacks. I don't know how many attacks, more than a few hundred at least. Physical attacks. I'm not talking about paperwork and lies and insults and threats. I'm talking about physical attacks on me. There's I don't know how many of these things on my body because there's so many that there's no more... So w w technically, the not the Moses or the Solomon law, like, I mean, I, I, eye for an eye law, if you have heard of that saying, I would have now police carte blanche to do anything. And you know what I mean? Illegal, especially. So what are you tempting in me when you keep doing the crime and even hurting me on top of that, that you say I'm the dangerous one? One day, I'm, and, and you see the one that I, it's still out there, the one with the STM grabbing me, that one I left. I left it there because the other ones that I said, well, they were undercover people following me. That technically they didn't do that day. But when they follow me and inject me like this, now that's a crime. So what I'm saying is I'm trying to make you realize and you could come up with the thing. Look, he's thinking that he has the right to, to hurt us, to protect himself. So he's imagining that. I know you could come up with that, but I'm saying it now officially. It was just an example to show you. You know you're doing that, right? So you know that I know that you know that... <laughs> Because when you feel something, it's just the same as, like I said it before, if there's eye contact between two people and there's chemistry, it's solid. It's almost like palpable. It's almost feeling it. But me, it's literally feeling it. It's not the marks on my body. It's how they make me feel and how I used to see the smile in the officer's face or even in that guy paid in the metro that was not even very coherently. I don't know how they drugged him up or if he was already a person dependent on drugs that they paid with drugs or money just to come and inject me on my arm. And now I don't know if it happened again. And look at the marks on my arm. It's just, ah, oh, no, I can't. It's just horrible the way my arm, I can't move it properly. And even if I do, it, the pain is so intense and you know you did it. And again, I say, why? Why does this have to go on? Because I challenged the system that I didn't know would physically hurt me. Obviously, now I saw that I took out videos. You guys are even doing it worse, following him even more to say, yes, we like it. Take out the videos. We're going to follow you even more. So you want me to do this video then? See, I don't understand what the hell you want. In your perverted, monstrous uh, dictatorship way. I do not know how to have the least amount of being followed and especially physically tortured. Come up with some kind of logic behind what you expect me to not hurt me. Never mind that you could make up more hurting by saying that I'm imagining it all because I know you've tried it before and it might work next time. But what I will guarantee you is already working is the karma. So good vibes. Namaste.